Howdy folks, and welcome back to Zatsudan, the show that recaps all-star wrestling because you're still too scared to watch me after that horror stream. Ooh, spooky. We open with Arn Anderson facing Penta El Cerro Miedo. Nice quick opener, nothing too fancy. No frills, just a knockdown drag out. Quick little match, goes back and forth a little bit. Penta gets the big win, gets some momentum back. After the failed bid for the tag titles, your winner, Pentagon. Larry Sweeney is backstage. He has brought in a friend to help him take on the new day tonight. He brings in Crossbones of Chikara fame? Midcard fame? I guess. Sweet and Sour Incorporated reuniting for one night only against Xavier Woods and Biggie of the New Day. Doesn't quite help Sweeney out that much. Uh, new Day put him away fairly easily. Crossbones has a good time, but uh, then he has a bad time. That's about all there is to that. Yaya Han is in the audience tonight. We're at the convention center, and I didn't decide what city it is, but we're in the convention center, and Yaya Han is here. That's the important part. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. We got some big matches tonight, too. Shawn Michaels, Daniel Bryan teaming up against CM Punk, Kevin Nash. What a history between all four of these guys, and uh, Punk and Nash in particular rivals until recently, but uh, after the way the pay-per-views shook out, now they're teaming up. Punk and Nash are out first, they drag Rock on the mic, which, I mean, Rock has been having a real dang tough time of things so far in ASW. And Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan are out second. Per a bet a few weeks ago with Kevin Nash, uh, Brian has to come out dressed like a little kid, but he's actually kind of owning it, having a good time. He's got like one of those giant lollipops, he's got one of those little propeller beanies. He's hamming it up, he's making the most of it. <laughs> having some fun with it. Nash collapses right on the opening bell, but turns out to have been a play. HBK goes over to check on him, Punk kicks him in the head. Nash was fine, he was just faking the Terran quad this time. Puck mocks HBK as he finds his feet, but uh, all that really does is gets HBK fired up a little bit. He's a little mad now. A little back and forth. Pretty even match. Punk almost puts uh, Daniel Bryan away with an arm bar. Has been a really long time. Bryan gets the ropes, but still winds up isolated. Punk and Nash showing a lot of fluidity. Daniel Bryan the face in peril. Put down for a 2.9 count. Not quite enough though. Kevin Nash goes for Jackknife Powerbomb. Daniel Bryan reverses it into Arana. That gives him the opportunity for the hot tag. In comes HBK. He's cleaning house, but Kevin Nash catches him with a bionic elbow to the head, stuns him a little bit, sets him up. Jackknife Powerbomb. One, two, three. Mostly clean win for CM Punk, Kevin Nash. Big win, big statement for both of those guys, especially Nash, who's been a little frustrated lately. HBK, though, of course, not done with Kevin Nash by any stretch. They have a date for Super Survivor Series. HBK throws a little bit of vitriol his way, confident about the pay-per-view. Nash just comes back, takes uh, Daniel Bryan's discarded propeller beanie, shoves it on HBK's face. He'll standing tall this time, but we'll see how it goes at the pay-per-view. Chris Hero making his ASW debut. He's just here for a few weeks, but those weeks are dedicated to taking down Los Guerreros and everybody else who has set out to destroy the indie talents of ASW. Chris Hero has appointed himself team captain of said indie talents and uh, facing the other captain tonight. He is fired up, he's ready to prove himself to ASW. Gets off to an early advantage, uh, Eddie Guerrero not quite sure what to make of him. Hero very big, but still surprisingly fast. Strong technically as well. Brief little fan interruption, we've been having a lot of those lately. Chill, y'all. I'm excited about ASW too, but can't get at the ring. The momentum kind of resets that is to Eddie's benefit. He gets back into it. His next idea is to try to out-wrestle Hero, which is not much of a better plan than going strike for strike with him. Hero gets a healthy dose of cravat in on Eddie Guerrero. But Eddie is eventually able to tough it out, start figuring out uh, Hero's game plan. Chavo Guerrero on the outside uh, offers some assistance every once in a while as well, as one has come to expect from the Guerreros. Eddie Guerrero gets the upper hand, can't quite get Hero down for the count though. Goes up for the fro frog splash, eats knees, Hero building some momentum, 
Look what Mikey might put this one away. Chavo Guerrero hops up on the apron. Referee distracted. Eddie drills Hero with a low blow. Able to put him away off of that low blow. Eddie Guerrero lies and cheats and steals his way to a victory. Over the debuting, Chris Hero. Hero not at all happy about that. Calls Eddie a coward and is looking forward to demolishing him at Super Survivor Series. We shall see. Only one of them is fighting on their home turf. Our main event tonight is a hardcore match. Will Nightingale, Kid Bandit teaming up to teach Trish Stratus a lesson. Her partner Asuka Velvia also showing up on teams at Super Survivor Series. As Willow and Bandit make their entrance, uh, Los Guerreros jump them from behind. They will be teaming with Trish and Asuka against the team with Willow and Bandit on it. So I guess they're trying to get a little early momentum going into that match. Despite the fact that they just got some. With Eddie going over here, I guess they're not done. It's a hardcore match, so and it hadn't even started. Bell rings, Trish uh, trips Kid Bandit up. Gets her down there, but uh, Willow, Queen and Chaos, clotheslines for everybody, takes up both the heels, picks up Kid Bandit, Kid Bandit not very large, chucks Kid Bandit at the heels, takes them both out, Bandit rolls out of the ring, digs under it, we're already going for the plunder, she pulls out a frickin' prop keyblade, because it's Kid Bandit, what really did you expect? Trish and Asuka still a bit stunned. Kid Bandit just absolutely goes to town on him. Well, Nightingale holds him down. Kid Bandit belabors everybody with the Keyblade. Really quick demolishing of Trish, Scratch, and Asuka. Asuka has some experience with hardcore matches. Trish a little less so. Really played in Bandit's favor, as well as Nightingale. Pretty quick win for the faces here. Yaya Han comes out to congratulate them, or so we thought. She grabs a microphone. She points out that per the rules of the convention center, they have very strict policies on prop weapons, such as keyblades. Kit Bandit did not have her keyblade properly tagged. While it might be within the rules of a hardcore match, it is not within the rules of unspecified city convention center. As such, the athletic commission has no choice but to rule that match, a disqualification win for Trish, Stratus, and Asuka. That's right, we had a frickin' dusty finish in a hardcore match. Beat that, y'all. Kid Bandit, understandably, rather upset by this turn of events. Getting the moral victory, but not the actual victory. She challenges Trish to a lumberjack match to settle things a little bit. Trish has just been terrorizing the entire NBA division, and I guess they'll have a chance to strike back a little bit. Not going to fit that in before the pay-per-view, but uh, it'll come up. And that is our show for tonight. We have one single show left before Super Survivor Series, and it should be a hot one. But I have non-title action in our main event, Kyrie Hojo facing Trish Stratus. Kyrie not participating in Super Survivor Series. She's going to be defending her title, it looks like. Trish gets a little bit of a warm-up. We are going to have all six team captains in action in our sub-main event. So for those of you playing the home game, that's going to be Shawn Michaels, Kofi Kingston, and Chris Hero again, taking on Kevin Nash, William Regal, and Eddie Guerrero, kind of a who's who of ASW, and also Chris Hero showing up as a guest. <laughs> Three-way dance, elimination style, going to be Willow Nightingale, Becky Lynch, and Asuka. Becky gearing up to challenge Kyrie for the NBA title. It's a bit of a warm-up match, as the bad blood between Royal Nightingale and Asuka continues. The Rock in action against Chavo Guerrero. Not feeling good about Chavo's odds of that one, but you never know. Chavo is almost as sneaky as Eddie, so he might come up with something. We don't know. We are going to have CM Punk defending the open world title against Daniel Bryan. Uh, despite Daniel Bryan's recent run, run of subpar luck, is one of the only people who hasn't gotten involved with one of the Super Survivor Series teams, so kind of defaulted into that one, but make no mistake, one of the strongest talents in the league we will have a contract signing for that title match, and we will also see Slash Gallagher and the Ray Phoenix in our opening contest. Should be good stuff all around. Looking ahead to Super Survivor Series. We have our Survivor Series matches almost codified, not quite. Not quite 100% written in stone, 
But we've got the Heartbreak Kids, Shawn Michaels, The Rock, and the Main Event Mafia, frickin' dream team that is, against the Nash World Order, Kevin Nash, Randy Savage, and the Lucha Bros. Also a bit of a dream team with a bit of an eclectic one. Really looking forward to that one. We're also going to see New Day and partner yet to be determined. We have recently confirmed that Barry Sweeney is joining William Regal's team. Still two spots to be determined on that team as well, but we're getting there. We do have the Indie Heroes match firmed up. That is going to be Chris Hero, Kid Bandit, Will Nightingale, Slash Gallagher. They are going to be taking on Los Guerreros, Trish Stratus, and Asuka. Our first intergender match, actually, may or may not become a habit. We'll see. Depends on if I get tired of booking a six-person NBA division. We have those three team matches Survivor Series style 4x4. Elimination. Whoever survives their matches, we will put them into a final match. We'll figure out the format once we get there, depending on who makes it, who doesn't. Also two titles on the line. Kyrie Hojo defending the NBA title against Becky Lynch. And CM Punk defending the Open World title against Daniel Bryan. Little dream match of their era right there. Two great flavors that are better together. But that's about all I got for you tonight. Thank you for watching, and take a Hitachi moment.